Hello and welcome. I'm Jeremy Searle and today I'm going to be talking about graffiti. We often hear complaints in Montreal that there's a great deal of graffiti in certain parts of the city and the question of what we can do about it. The, the city spends a lot of money every year trying to clean up, money which in my view is mostly wasted, a million dollars or, or so, which could go to street repairs or other valuable services, and wasted because even though absence of graffiti is desirable, just cleaning it off doesn't prevent it being put back on again, and that's what we see. It gets cleaned off sometimes, it gets sprayed back on immediately. However, in the footage in which I started this clip, you saw a wall in London, England, on which a large advertising mural has been placed. Uh, a man and a woman swimming underwater. It's at street level, perfectly approachable. People can walk by, they can touch it, uh, no problem to approach it. And yet there's no graffiti, not so much as a moustache on the woman. Nothing. Perfectly clean wall, even though anybody could mark it any way they want. And that's pretty much the rule of thumb in that city, and for that matter, many others. But sticking with the London example, unlike here in Montreal, there's virtually no scratches on the windows in the buses or on the metro, and virtually no graffiti on the walls throughout the city. There's no particular program to remove it. There's no special police presence. However, when you look at the remaining footage, which I'm going to run after these comments, you'll see that for our advertising wall, there happen to be two very visible security cameras overseeing the wall. On the buses in London, England, there are security cameras in the buses. Same thing for most of the underground metro trains and I believe it's the presence of these cameras which discourages the vandals, the graffiti people, from going out and doing their vandal thing. After all, it takes the fun out of it rather if for repeat activity tagging or spraying graffiti you have to wear a face mask each time, especially since if you're covering your face you're likely to draw the special attention of concerned citizens or the police just for the fact that you are doing that. So it takes the fun out of the activity, makes it more likely that you're going to be apprehended, and it's generally created or helped to create a cleaner urban environment in that city. We often hear in North America concerns vis-a-vis -vis cameras, for instance red light cameras to discourage people running red lights, that there's some sort of interference with civil liberties. This may or may not be the case, but we already have cameras in our banks, depanners, stores and the like and it probably would not be such a bad thing if we at least were to move towards having them installed in each and every one of our buses and metro cars so as to start on the common level public transport and wipe out the graffiti. It seems to work elsewhere, perhaps we should try it here, something to consider. Thank you for participating today. Good day.